Hello everyone, this is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator from the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and I want to show you how to join your Meet twice on a singular device for the purpose of, let's say we want to present a written worksheet um, or activity to our students at home and in person simultaneously. If you've tried this before, you may have noticed that you need to join on two devices um, because your document camera gets inverted to those in front of you if you're displaying your meet on your front board. So what we've suggested in the past is joining the meet on two devices and pinning the one that is the dot cam and then it shows up correctly as if it were uh, another student. However, you can do this with one device. It's a, it takes a little finesse, but it is possible. So you'll notice I have my meet up twice. The first thing I need is this extension here called Volume Master. I'm going to click Volume Master on just one of the tabs, and this is so I don't get audio feedback when I join my Meet twice. So as you know, if you choose Mute Site, it's going to mute both tabs. It will not mute just the singular tab. It will mute all of Meet, regardless of if you're on the same Meet or two different Meets. So this extension, Volume Master, will allow me to put just this one Meet down to nothing so there's going to be no outward sound and then i'm going to mute the mic on this one here so there's no inward sound and on this meet i'm going to leave it the same i'm going to have my audio and my microphone i don't need to worry so one of them completely muted down to zero mic off the other on fine Alrighty. next if i am able i'm going to extend my screen windows p if you're on a windows device Sorry, not sure what it is on a Mac, but, and then I would drag one of these meets, this one here, the muted one, to my board. So we're going to pretend that this one is on the board and this one is on my device. And if you're not able to do that and you're just able to duplicate, that's fine. That will work too. Okay. On this meet right here, I'm going to leave my webcam on. So I'm going to go into my settings here and just ensure that it's pulling my webcam for video. So USB camera, which is my webcam, that one's fine. For my second meet, I'm going to click my three dots, click my settings, and I'm going to choose my document camera. So I'm looking for my IPVO. It's here. I want to be in video, not audio. I'm going to choose my IPVO. Notice Here's my doc cam. Okay, so here's this one. Here's this one. Now I'm gonna join my meet. You'll notice I'm on twice. Alrighty. And now if you take a look when I'm on here on my webcam, if I start to write, if I pin this, this will show to my kids at home. If you notice on my other one that's connected to my IPVO, it's actually inverted. So I don't want that one pinned to my kids in the classroom. I want this one pinned to my kids in the classroom. And it will also show correctly to my kids at home. And then I just have to make sure I don't get caught up on my own device if I'm looking at it, um, that it may look backwards to me. But if I pin this one, it gives me a nice little visual here. It is correct. And it's basically because I joined my meet twice and pinned it as if it were a student. If I only join my meet once from my doc cam, so I'm going to get off of the one with my webcam. Notice now I'm only on my meeting once I am muted because remember I had turned that off. And it's inverted to my kids in class, not at home. If I look at it, uh, my kids see it at home and it is correct. So it's very important when you are using a document camera to show uh, an activity or an act of writing or demonstrating or modeling how to write for our students that we do have to avoid the inversion of the camera. And one way to do that is to join your meet twice. And this little extension here is the key piece, Volume Master. So good luck with that. It takes a little bit of finesse, but it is doable. Thank you.